to make it go up. You find out where it gets shipped out at. You find out who your suppliers are, mm-hmm. who we gonna pay, this, that, and the third. Somebody gotta make the And then you product. get taxed to death. We pay federal taxes. Some state people taxes, pay state taxes. You pay FICA. You pay in the Social Security. If you own a home, you gotta pay taxes on your home. Yep. I mean, it's just, they tax us to death. Yeah, with everything. If we didn't pay all those taxes, then maybe we could afford to do some Because things. Argentina just decided that they weren't going to make you pay taxes anymore. I believe it's Argentina. I'll put that up. But, yeah, they decided that they're not going to make you there pay taxes. There are a taxes. lot of countries the like American that. The American people could get ahead. All it is is selfishness and greed to me. Mm-hmm. Selfishness and greed. And it's the same thing when it comes to white people in America and black people in America. White people don't want blacks doing as well as they're doing. They damn sure don't want you doing better than they're doing. And that's what it boils down to. There's enough for everybody. And but like the guy said, humans are the only animals that pay to live on the damn planet. Everything that uh, that the American worker does, we work harder than them. We don't get siestas like they do in Mexico. Right. And even on your time off, they want you to come in. OK. Mm-hmm. And every time you get a, a, a head in life a little bit, they find a way to snatch that from. But you. do you know that employers in the United States are not required to give you vacation time they give vacation time but that's because they choose to they're not required to like other countries well you should be because again that's why there's so much depression and bullshit in America oh, definitely. and so many sicknesses and ailments predicated on the fact that you want people to just work 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 other parts of the country in the world like you just said mm-hmm. they give you all this time off so that you don't burn out right. so that you're able to come back to work refreshed and motivated right. and and that's a, a part of most companies. Mo- motivation is low as hell. Exactly. People are not motivated to come in these companies and work. When you got issues going at home, you may have a sick parent. You may have a sick child. You got things going on in your life. Again, eight hours to work, eight hours to sleep, eight hours to live your life. And Roosevelt, president, signed the thing back in the 30s where the, what do they call it? The wage, the minimum wage Mm -hmm. was tied to inflation. Of course, they got rid of that. Okay, do you know you should be making damn near fifty four dollars an hour compared to inflation today. But you make in twelve, fifteen dollars an hour and people running around here. Well, people just lazy. People just don't want to work. Okay, how much is the job paying? Well, you know, don't worry about that. It's a great company and we do. Uh, how much is the job paying? Remember, we drove by that one place, that oil change place. And I think they was hiring and they were starting you out at ten dollars a damn hour. Well, and I also in one of my groups that I'm in um, there here locally, there was a taco place yeah. that was needing help for overnight because you know they had started closing and people had started complaining mm-hmm. about them closing right and the reason why they were closing is because they didn't have anybody to work the overnight shift exactly and so they posted what are you paying so ten dollars an hour what they, the hell are you paying they were paying ten dollars an hour exactly and who are you going to get to work overnight for ten dollars an hour people have bills to pay and what the hell are you going to pay at $10, even $15 You have to be a teenager living at home that is just making game money to yeah. buy you games to be working for $10 Beer an hour. Beer and cigarette money if you're an adult. Because you're still not bringing that home. You're still paying into, like I said, mm-hmm. you're still paying federal taxes, FICA, and Social Security. Yeah. Out of that. And even that $500 that the, the uh, auto workers are getting, that's before taxes. It's that's sad. before taxes. So, you know, again, the politicians was the ones screaming about shutting down the unemployment because they needed you to come in and work these jobs. OK, because you had the it's one. Because a lot of them are employers. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so you got the one lady who was a um, CEO or whatnot at GM. And now she wants to talk about how the people should be getting paid. But that's not how she felt when she was working there. And again, it just boils down to the thing of it's all about capitalism. Okay. The rich getting richer. Yep. You see a lot of Americans calling them other, other Americans lazy because they're not working as if they have some financial investment in the plantation they work for. 
The ignorance is real, mine. And again, it's like you said earlier, you're going to be replaced by robots. Jobs are moved overseas or they pay less than they did before. And why would a person want to go back to the workforce and work the same job for less money? You got to pay for your mortgage, your car, truck, kids, college. And no one's talking about that. And they just want your ass slaving away. And that's all it boils down to. Free or cheap labor in America. Mm -hmm. They don't give a crap about your ass. And they're saying, you know, you're supposed to have (laughs) six months worth of your bills saved up. And America's $33 trillion in debt. And it's like, you know, most people live paycheck to paycheck or paycheck to almost the next paycheck. Some people don't have the, the luxury of being able to save they would love to have you know six months worth of savings or whatever mm-hmm. and you know insurance and all of this stuff people are having to make choices and decisions everybody knows that they need insurance and stuff because you know people always are complaining about folks look at our car insurance at our stage in life but sometimes you you, you have to make a choice are you going to eat or are you going to pay for insurance? I mean, it's 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 sad that you have to make decisions. Yeah. But sometimes you have to make choices and decisions on who's getting paid and who's not. Now, the lady I was talking about is Representative Debbie Dingle. She said adjusted for inflation, auto workers are making 10 percent less compared to what they were making in 2008 and 2009. And someone stipulated funny how she has empathy for the workers after she stopped being a GM executive. And so check her out. Let's talk about this. And of course, the ongoing strike with Democratic Congresswoman from Michigan, Debbie Dingell. She is huge in the auto world. Her district has auto factories in it. She's also on the uh, subcommittee for climate change as well. So Congresswoman uh, Dingell, really appreciate you joining us. We tried to highlight the pay in a way that others aren't. It's such a politically charged issue. Do you fear it can become almost kind of a red herring for the real issues? I think it is a red herring for the real issues. I do believe that workers are seeing this increase in CEO pay, and that does matter. But here's the reality that people really need to focus on. When 2008 and 2009 hit, and by the way, I wasn't I was a GM executive at the time and left when this all happened. The workers did not want to see the companies fail. They gave, and they gave up their cost of living, what we call COLA, then. They have never gotten their COLA back in real terms. They are making 10% less than they were making in, in a, when you adjust for inflation than they were making in 2008 and 2009. The, the Wall Street uh, expert that helped President Obama figure out what was going to happen in 2008 and 2009 to save these companies himself has said to even stay equal to where they were in 2008 and 2009 they need a 30 percent increase so you know so yeah this is what's going on are you lazy or are these people not paying shit can you survive on what they're paying you if you're making less and then i remember in one show we were talking about how you say it back during the depression, how much less money we're making now than they made back then. Right. The equivalent compared to inflation. Right. The equivalent of the minimum wage now compared to right. what their minimum wage was then. Yes, they actually was making more money than yeah. what our people are making now. But the thing is, back then they they admitted that there was a depression. Right now, they're not saying anything about that. And now you got another war that's broken out between Palestine and Israel. Mm-hmm. And now we're funding that. So look what we got going on. Yeah, he on. just recently sent some jeeps to Israel. Yep. You got Ukraine, who getting their ass whooped, and we steady sending them money. Now you got Israel and Palestine. Now you got the migrants flooding up in here. You got homelessness just exploding because these people have jacked up the prices on rent jacked up the prices on food, jacked up the prices on every damn thing. There's just Mm -hmm. no way to get ahead. But what's their mantra? Your ass should work harder. And and they're constantly using taxpayer 